Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talking nothing but this boxing, man. What's good, fam? Hey, listen, man. First off, I want to welcome everybody to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, I want you to be here. So think about hitting that subscribe button as we stay knee deep into this boxing conversation, man. Listen, man, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, Regis Prograde um, situation, man. If you have not heard, Regis Prograde um, and the Bella Entertainment, they have filed a, a lawsuit against the World Boxing Super Series, um, for the promoters of the World Boxing Super Series, man, uh, because they have not fulfilled their end of the agreement, man. Um, they, was, they had a certain, a certain date to put X amount of money into an escrow, an ex, escrow account, and they did not do so. Um, the dates was all messed up, man. They was trying to give them uh, a date where Regis Prograde wouldn't have enough time to train. And, um, you know, Regis and, and Lou DiBella said, man, we, we ain't with that, you know. We ain't with that. And they have pulled out the, pulled out the series, man. Now, that sucks for us as fans because there was a lot of us that was really looking forward to seeing Regis Prograde and Josh Taylor, man. I mean, we waited this whole series because we wanted to see that fight. You know, um, we all knew that them two guys would be the last two boxers standing at the final. So we all was waiting to see this matchup, man. Um, you know, and it just, it's just a shame, man. The World Boxing Super Series, you know, uh, a while, a couple months ago or whatever, Ivan Baranchik, you know, Baranchik was about to pull out um, of the series for the same exact reason, you know. Um, but, you know, at the, at the last hour, they was able to uh, satisfy Baranchik and his team. So Baranchik went on in there and he had to fight with uh, Josh Taylor, you know what I'm saying. Um, the thing that, another thing that sucks about this is that this can... This can be tied up in court for a while, you know. Uh, this can have Regis Pro Grade sitting on the sidelines for months, man. You know, maybe even longer than that, man. He better hope that, you know, um, they can come to some type of a agreement ASAP, Rocky. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, man, because, you know, the, the junior welterweight division is on fire, you know. Um, Jose Ramirez and Mo Hooker just got it on in an exciting fight. Ramirez is now the unified champion. Um, and we thought we was gonna have another unified champion, but that's off the table now. You know what I'm saying? Um, Adrian Broner, uh, I guess he was drunk again. He was talking trash about Pro Gray. Um, you know, Pro Gray came back right at him, man. Saying that, you know, after he handled his business, Broner gotta see him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said he got to see me, you know? Uh, that would be an exciting fight. You know, one that uh, a lot of people count Adrian Broner out, man. I do, I do, I would lean towards Regis Prograde, no doubt about that, man. But Adrian Broner can fight, man, and, and he has shown in the past that he will fight anybody, you know? Adrian Broner ain't ducking no smoke, never had. You know what I'm saying? So, what he's saying, he really believes, you know what I'm saying? Ain't like Adrian Broner just talking shit just to be talking shit. Adrian Broner will step in that in that ring with Regis Prograde, you know. Um, you know, Adrian Broner, he was more exciting uh, at the lighter weights, man. 147, you know, those dudes are just too big for him, man. He might he might be a little better off at, at 140, you know. He jumped right over 140, skipped past 140 in the past. But uh, the question is, can he make 140? You know, that's that's the thing. Um, you know, there was a couple fights in the past where he signed the contract to fight at 140, and you know, at the Cillers Cinderella Hour, you know, he he changed it. You know, he 144 and you know shit like that. He had said at one point that he was the king of 144. You know what I mean? So I really doubt that at this point in time in Adrian Broner's life that. He can actually make 140, man. You know what I'm saying? But he did it for Mikey. 
he did it for Mikey. Um, and he looked, he looked in shape, you know, he was in shape. Um, you know, he just didn't want to throw his hands, but other than that, he looked at, you know, very, very much in shape and healthy in that fight. Uh, but he just didn't throw his hands, man. So, you know, we may you get that fight. We know that um, Lou DeBella and PBC, you know, right now they, they're going through a little something where they're not working as tightly as they were in the past. Um, but, you know, they're working with uh, Sergey Darinchenko. Al Heyman still manages him. Bella promotes them. So they are still in some type of communication, man. So uh, I wouldn't mind saying that pro grade Broner fight. But I want that Taylor and pro grade fight better, you know, more, faster. Uh, I was watching an interview with Jose Ramirez, man. Um, he says, you know, he talked about fighting Josh Taylor. He said that Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum, you know, they work good together. So he said he may be able to get that fight ASAP, you know. So he said he won him first. So we may, we may see that, you know what I mean? I wouldn't mind seeing that too, man. I think um, Taylor beats Ramirez, you know. I think it would be a good fight. You know what? I, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. Ramirez showed me in his last fight, man, that, you know, he can elevate his game. So I ain't even going to say that. I'll say it'll be a good fight that I would love to see. You know, I would love to see that matchup, man. But, um, yeah, man, it just sucks that Regis Progray had to, you know, um, get out of that series. But, you know, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. If, if the thing ain't right, you know, if they didn't um, do what they said they was going to do, man, then, you know, you got to do what you got to do as a man. You know, going in there risking their lives as these fighters do. And, um, you know, you got to do what's best for you. But I just wanted to get on here and I want to talk a little bit about that, man. Um, I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, don't leave out of here without hitting that subscribe button. Um, you can catch me on Twitter. You can catch me on Instagram, at Big Faces Worldwide, all one word. But in the meantime and in between time, Stay blessed and keep on supporting this sport we love called boxing. Peace. I holler back.